What's up guys, welcome to your 173rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is kind of the same thing that we did in the last tutorial, except instead of working with vertices, we're going to be working with indexes. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a private, <clears throat> instead of a float array, we're going to set up a private short array. Uh, that's going to basically hold our indexes, or our specific points. Um, so we're just going to call this point index um, array or list. What we're going to set this equal to is basically we have three points, so we're just going to say 0, 1, and 2. Now we have to set up a buffer for our index points. And again, I know right now um, you guys might be lost about what we're doing, but it will wrap together and tie together, and you'll see um, what, we are, what we have done, and everything will, for the most part, make sense. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up a private uh, short buffer instead of a float buffer since we're working with a short list. Um, so we're going to say private short buffer. We're going to call this our point buffer, something like that. And then again, we're just going to add our imports. And now again, within our triangle constructor, we're going to set up our short buffer for the most part to relate to our indexes. So just give us a couple spaces here, and we're going to set up a byte buffer. Call this our point byte buffer, or point B for byte and buff, something like that. And we're going to say again, relate to the byte buffer class. And we just got to, you know, tell the buffer how much, uh, how big the capacity it needs to be, um, what it can handle, how many bytes we're working with. And when we're working with shorts, uh, a short is two bytes. Uh, so as a, as a float was four bytes, all we're going to do is relate to our list of our index, our index list get the length of that and then times it by two. So it's pretty much the same concept. We're just going to say p index uh, dot length times that by two uh, for two bytes per short. And then we're going to again say our point buffer or we're going to say our point byte buffer um, set it to native order. Um, again just by referring to the byte order and then saying dot uh, native order. And again, all this line is doing, uh, we're going to be calling a GL point, pointer function on these buffers. And we, in order to do that, we need to say it needs to be in native order. Uh, so basically, the garbage collector won't be able to access this or move it or, you know, dump it. Um, so that's what we need to set up this native order code. And that's all that's doing is relating to, again, the byte buffer that we set up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to relate to our index buffer, which we called point buffer or p buff. And we're just going to say p buff is equal to our pb buff or point byte buffer. And we're just going to say dot as short buffer because, again, we aren't working with a float buffer. We're working with shorts now, so we're just going to say we need a short buffer. And uh, there we go. Now what we're going to do is, again, we're just going to say our, we're going to relate to our short buffer and uh, called p buff. And all we're going to do is say dot put, and then we have to tell it, you know, what we want to put in there, and we're going to relate to our point index list. And then all we're going to say is move the position to zero as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, and we're going to do one more thing, kind of like this, uh, for our textures, uh, relating textures to a triangle, something like that. Uh, but we'll get to that, and again probably a few tutorials so you guys actually can see what these are doing uh, when we get into the code and then we'll come back and maybe do like a texture one if we have if we have time and then you'll you guys can the next time we go through this type of thing you'll understand everything that's going on why we you know set up these buffers and all that good stuff um, but again as for now that's pretty much all we're going to do in this tutorial uh, pretty simple as well all we did is set up a new byte buffer that's going to be a, a short buffer and uh, and handle our index um, or our points like point zero, point one, point two. Instead of handling actual, um, you know, our actual all of our x and y values of those points and all that stuff, which we did in the previous tutorial with our vert buffer. And I'll show you guys how we're going to use these, um, you know, as we go through this OpenGL series. But as for now, that's probably it. I know it's kind of a boring tutorial, but uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.